Hi Miguel, Connor Holt here with Wilson Motor. Just want to put a face to the name so you know who reached out to you last night about this 2022 expedition here behind me. So um, let's get to it. I know you have an expedition, so I don't need to go over technically all the features, but there are going to be differences between your 2020 and this 2022. So let's kind of just get to it, especially where this is an XLT, uh, but it's also kind of the higher end of the XLT. It's got a lot of cool bells and whistles and I'll kind of go over those with you. So starting up front, you have a whole different design on the 2022s from the 2020. You're going to have different the, the different bars there. The grill looks different. Um, these lights are actually LED lights, even though it's an XLT. So they are the bright white lights for you. You're going to have the tow hooks down there on the bottom there. And you have these little air vents right here to help be a little more aerodynamic. So the air will fly through there to help you cut through the, the wind as you're driving. Um, we actually changed the wheels on this. When, it came, when we got this in on trade, it had chrome wheels. We put these black wheels on. We like the black wheels a lot better. Kept the hand cooked tires because they are awesome. A lot of tread on there because like I said, it's brand new pretty much. It's only got about five, I think 5,700 miles on it is what it is. Um, and it's been loaned out with like a USU coach. So there aren't a whole lot of uh, dings and dents. There are a couple scratches I just noticed and I'm putting this out to you. Um, we don't have the 360 view on this because it's an XLT, but there are still other things I'll show you about. These are where it kind of those, those scratches are, but it looks like actually for the most part, it's kind of coming off if I rub it. So I don't think it's really an actual scratch. Maybe that side is. That one is there is going to be a scratch. Those two, but this one's kind of, that one's actually coming off. So just that one there is a little scratch on the side. Um, on the back side, you're going to have four parking sensors here. Under here, you'll have your tow hitch so you can tow stuff as well. Um, it is an XLT, like I've said. Let's open this up here and I will show you what it looks like here in the back. Right now we have the third row down. Let me pop those back up here. Push the buttons out here on the side. It's gonna bring those seats up. You can also drop the second row up there just like you can on yours. Um, and that will go all the way down. So the nice thing about this XLT is it's not the, you don't have like the fabric seats. You still have the leather seats here. Um, it's not the max. So you're gonna have a little bit smaller backside here when this is all the way up. Um, but you have your tow kit back here too and a little bit of storage there. And it looks like Possibly, I have no idea. I don't know. I was thinking that maybe that was like a drain so you could like wash it out. And I was like, I didn't know why you need that, but that's not a drain. It doesn't look like. Um, that is going to be the back seat here. Push the button, and it's just going to go down for you. Here's where your gas is on the left side. Pull up and just like that. You got the easy fuel option there too. Push it back in and it'll close. Second row, we got captain's chairs. So really easy to get into the back seat. That, or you can toss this up and also get into the back seat. If you don't want to go through the middle, you can do that way too. You can also drop the seat down like this and make it go down flat. So when you have those seats down, you have all the way flat uh, from the back to the front. Throw it back up just like that. This is your back seat there. You got options there on the sides there too. Um, you, there's USBs in the little, in the cubby there, the little storage area, and you can also lower those seats back, or lean them back a little bit more. Up here, you're gonna have charging. You got a USB and a USB-C, or you, yeah, USB-C, and then you have the 112 outlet here, and you have a 12 volt smoking charger down here on the bottom, phone storage to be able to put a phone there while you're charging it, and the climate controls here in the back. Both uh, the seats have the pockets for a little bit of storage there. You got the window controls, a place to put water bottles, a um, little more storage on the bottom, and speakers there too. Um, it has been tinted, as you can tell. Even the front's been a little bit tinted, but it hasn't matched the back. I think these guys actually did a little bit lower or a little bit darker in the back than what it was in the front. Um, so first off, here being an XLT, it also does have the twin panel moonroof. This one is a sunroof. It actually opens all the way up. If you want that to open up, I can show you right now. We'll just go like this and open it up. So while that's opening up, I'll kind of go over all these other features for you. You can save three driver seats over here. You got your door locks, you got the windows, you're gonna have the foldable mirrors right here, and these are the window or the mirror controls, and that's how you lock your mirrors. Out there on the, the mirror right there, you're gonna see you're gonna have the option to have your blind spot monitor, so it'll turn bright yellow if you have someone on your blind spot there. Over here, you're going to have your headlight controls, the brightness of your display. This will drop the headrest of that third row and open your tailgate. Down here is going to be your parking brake, and this is going to move the gas and brake pedal forward and backward, as you can see, moving slowly down there. So you don't have to be so close to the steering wheel if you're a little shorter there than I am, for example. I'm, uh, I'm six feet, so I don't really need that. <laughs> um, 
You have the cruise control over here on this side. This is the lane keeping assist. Um, and then your media controls for the volume there. And then you have the controls up here for your display on the cluster. And this will be swapping the song. So you have media on the bottom rows of both this, cruise control, lane keeping assist, and then the cluster controls. Headlights and blinkers uh, are for brights, and then also uh, your wipers. And then up here to explain how this guy works, you have your RPMs, you have your speed, you have all this information here that kind of changes around. It's gonna be your engine temperature, your oil temperature, your transmission temperature, your gas level. And like I said, we can change that middle of the screen to a whole bunch of different options there too. Um, then, as you can see, we have a really big screen here. So compared to the 2020, this is a little bit bigger. I don't remember the exact size. I want to say it's around eight inches, but I could be off. Um, what's nice is you don't need to have your phone for the, or you don't need to have your phone plugged in for the Apple CarPlay. It has a new feature there where it's wireless CarPlay. Um, this will actually turn into your phone map there, as you can see on the side there. So if you have a car, your phone connected to it, Apple CarPlay or, or Android Auto, if you have an Android phone. Um, and then, but there is navigation, obviously, as we can see, we got the Ford navigation on there, or you can just kind of go back and go back to audio and then the navigation will stay on the side there. So big touch screen, which is a difference between the 2020 and the 2022. And you have the pro trailer backup assist. If you happen to be towing anything, this will help you to be able to park the trailer. If you want to go left, you just go left. If you want to go right, you go right. You let go of the wheel and that will take control there. Hazard lights, traction control, downhill assist, all of your media controls right here all of your climate controls right here with a heated steering wheel, heated seats, and AC, the, the uh, air, air conditioned seats as well up here for the front two people. Um, this will be where you can charge. You got a wireless charger here. You got the USB-C and a USB there for charging as well. Here's where you're gonna be changing your controls and you're gonna put in your drive. You can lock your rear differential. You can do it all manually by pushing these. Here's your four wheel drive and then your different drive modes. So you can see that you have the normal, you have your slippery, your sand, and your mud and ruts, and then you have your eco mode, sport mode, and towing. So a lot of different drive modes here for you, which will automatically change the four-wheel drive, or you can click this if you want to go into four-wheel drive and it automatically go to four-wheel drive as well. So that way you're aware of that. Another little charger there, you got the 12 volt. Up here you're gonna have your two glove boxes. You got a huge center storage right here with some cough drops, which I will throw away after this. <laughs> Cup holders. And like I said, you have that, that sunroof that's all the way open. I'm gonna close that up now so we can see that. Sunglass holder here. You have the automatic dimming rear view mirror. You have three options for garage door codes there. And then obviously you're gonna have just your normal looking, looking guy here uh, for your mirror there. And then this is what your key looks like. You got two keys, you get the unlock, lock, remote start, lifting your tailgate, and your alarm there as well. This is also trailer brakes, which I missed that earlier too. So trailer brake system right there, and remote start, or the, the push button start. So 57 and 65, so 5,765 miles. I can't leave my math in my head at the moment. It's been a long day. That's how much is on this car. Um, it's an awesome vehicle. Hopefully it's something you wanna come look at. I know you're, you're down a couple hours down south from us up here in Logan. So if you wanna come up and take it for a spin to see how you like it compared to your vehicle, I'd love to help you out, man. And hopefully we can, we can strike a deal with, with you. Uh, if you have any additional questions, if you want me to get you some additional pictures, let me know. I'd love to do anything I can to help you out and hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll get something going. Thanks, Miguel. Talk to you soon, man.